I don't care what you talking about, baby. I don't care what you say. Don't you come walking, begging back, baby. I don't care anyway. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just stop dogging me around. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review season, what is this? Season five, episode five of Tyler Perry's comedy drama soap opera, The Oval. And tonight's episode is titled Image, Power, and Respect. And that song is dedicated to Lily because she wants Donald to leave her alone, leave her alone. Just stop dogging her around. <laughs> Now, before I get into this review, I got to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers that hold me down in the comment section. Y'all tend to love these Tyler Perry reviews. Y'all come to these more than all my other things that I do, but I do plan on, I'm going to be reviewing some other stuff. So I'm asking y'all to please check out the other videos too. Please, pretty please. I'm begging. Okay, I ain't begging. I got some dignity, but please, please, I, I would appreciate that. I ain't going to beg though. I got some dignity. I'd like you to check out some other reviews. I'm going to start having some other shows on here as well. Some more stuff I'm going to be reviewing. But anyway, enough of that. Shout outs to my subscribers that's holding me down. I love y'all. Y'all crack me up in the comment section. Talking about folks like Ahmed, who said that Luther Vandross is his favorite singer. You got good taste. Think you, is that what you said? No, you said, I'm sorry. Ahmed said that he loves Luther Vandross. He loves that song, Secret Love. It was... Michael McCrea, who said that Luther Vandross is his favorite singer. You have good taste. Both of you have good taste. Um, shout outs to you two. Shout outs to Miss Tasha, Rachel Sweets, Jewel Winfield, Bobby Ray, Nadine Harris, Karima Khadija, Savannah Rivers Amore, a.k.a. the big time. You know, Savannah Rivers is my manager. Put me on all these gigs, right? Get me into that. Get me into Radio City, please. OK, thank you, Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking around. The R.C. Kroger, Randall Brown, House of Sir James. What's up, House of Sir James? He said he's here for the vocals. I appreciate that, Sir James. Curran Rowland and my homegirl, June B.L.C. Shout outs to you. All right. I done beat around the bush enough. Let's get right down to this episode. Let me look at my notes here. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> The first lady in Donald, did y'all catch this? She was throwing major, um, what do you call it? Homophobic slurs at him, calling him sweet girl and Miss Thing. And was she calling him Donna instead of Donald? I thought I heard her calling him Donna. She said, come, come here, come here, girl, come here. Let's, we got something to talk about. You know, get over here, meet me in the yellow room. So I guess that's, that's the name of that room. So there, is it a blue room and green room in the White House? These rooms named with colors. Interesting. So she told him, meet me in the yellow room. They met in the yellow room. She said, listen, he said, what is it you want, man? She said, uh, I don't want you. You don't want me. You don't like vagina. I was like, wow, here we go with the slurs. Cause y'all know that, um, Donald, he plays, you know, Donald is, Donald's gay, but he's undercover gay because he's married to the beautiful Lily. But, you know, he messes with old dude over there. So she's just throwing all these homophobic slurs and calling him Miss and Donna and Honey and, you know, all this stupid stuff. So but she called him in there to tell him, listen, the president, Hunter, he is upset. He's relieved. That Jason is dead. We know Jason ain't really dead. But he's relieved that Jason is dead. But he's still going crazy. So I need you to talk to him and handle him. And then he started asking about all the other stuff. She said, listen, I got all that covered. Don't you worry about this. I got all that covered. So I'm wondering, does Donald know that she's messing with the vice president? I don't, I'm not sure what the big plan and the big picture is here. But I don't know. So she tells Donald, listen. Um, sit down. She, when she's telling him sit down, she's mentioned something about him having heels on and that must hurt your feet, Miss Thing, honey, child, all that, all the stereotypical 
things you say to gay people, unfortunately, all the homophobic stuff she was saying, just attacks, attacks, attacks. Then we go to, um, she says she had one more card to play. Then we go over to the president. The president is in there with Dr. whatever his name, let's call him Dr. Jones right now. He's in there with Dr. Jones and Dr. Jones is telling him, Mr. President, that was not your son. And he was like, excuse me, you trying to call me crazy? You trying to tell me that's not my son? That was not my son? I know what my son looks like. So then he finally puts two and two together and he says, no, what I'm saying is the body that we cremated, that wasn't crazy, Jason. That wasn't crazy, Jason Voorhees. That's not the body that we cremated. Sorry. So the president is like, well, if that wasn't him, then who was it? Then he starts saying, oh, this hoe right here, this biatch talking about his wife. She has something to do with this. Oh, she, she thinks she's slick. This is her and her father. That's he starts jumping to conclusions. But the thing that made me laugh in this moment was when the doctor said, do you want me to get Secret Service involved? Sir, you're a doctor. How you get Secret Service involved? Stay in your lane. I was like, wait, since when the doctor can call Secret Service? The president is right there. So stay in your lane. Interesting. Then we move on to, it looks like Dale and Alan are having a little dinner or lunch date at the diner. And I don't know what the point of this scene was, but I want to know where is Kareem? Kareem wasn't, didn't Kareem go to the camp with them or did Kareem, where did Kareem go? I'm confused. So anyway, Dell and Alan are at this diner. Apparently the food ain't good at the diner. They should have went to Mel's diner. That's what they should have did. But the food ain't good. And so basically they're having this conversation and Alan is saying to him, why are you so um, nice? You got to be a little bit more tougher. And, you know, Dale is being optimistic. He's like, you know, I think this we're going to all get through this. You know, he had that real, you can win as long as you keep your head to the sky. That was his attitude, you know, real optimistic. That was his thing. But Alan's like, eh, whatever. So funny. I guess this was kind of funny. So basically, Alan don't have enough I mean, Dale doesn't have enough money to pay for the food at the diner. The food apparently sucked. And now Alan says that he's going to pay for it. Then he's like, wait a minute. I can't use my debit card. I can't use my credit card. I can't use, you know, because they'll track me and know where we are. So, you know, he managed to scramble some money. At first he was like, well, I'll use my phone. You Listen, you can't use none of that, basically. So he scrapped some money together, and I guess that's that was that. That was that scene. Um, then we see the president again speaking to Donald, and they have a conversation where he's telling Donald that, you know, that wasn't my son that was killed. That's not him or something like that, he said. And Donald said, how much coke you snorted? And the president got very offended, excuse me, he said, cause you know, when you, when you go out, he said, who told you I went out? And then he called in Alonzo, belittled Alonzo like he was a child. Boy, let me tell you something. Did you tell my business? Did you say I was out? Did you say it? And just, I just hate the way the president speaks to the staff. The first day, I'm telling you right now, the first day anybody speaks to me like that, I don't care what your level is, I'm done. I can't, you can't talk to grown people like that. You don't talk, I'm a grown man. You don't talk to me like that. But see, this is a TV show. But anyway, so Donna was like, listen, let him leave. Alonzo looking on. I'm sick of Alonzo too. Alonzo with these eyes bulging and nervous. Like, I'm sick of this. You're a Secret Service agent. Why are you so Scooby Doo ish? What, what is that about? Every scene with him, he's a Secret Service agent. Why is he so. I hate that. Stop bulging his eyes. Tyler, stop him from bulging his eyes. Why is he so scary? He's an agent. He shouldn't be that intimidated. You're an agent. So anyway, Donald tells him he can leave. The president told him, no, you're going to stay here 24 hours. Donald said, listen, I got this. Let the boy leave. Let him leave because I got this under control. Let him leave. And so the president is still trying to put two and two together, trying to figure things out. Um, then we see Donald meet up with Kyle and Kyle is like, listen, Kyle got that other agent over there at the VP's house. He knows that everybody's over. He said, listen, Sam is there. Nancy, the butler, Richard is there. Uh, 
everybody's over there. That's what the guys tell him. So he, so Kyle says to Donald, he says, listen, Donald, we need to drop a bomb on the VP's house. Just really? And Donald told him, like, it's the VP. What, what are you? Come on. Are you serious? It's the VP. We can't do that. It's like, use your brain. Nobody's using their brain. So that 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 was like, he's like, they're all dead. You know, we can, we can, uh, <sighs> that was crazy. But my favorite part of the show tonight was when the VP had everybody gathered around. We had Miss Nancy, we had Richard, we had Muscle Man Bobby, we had Max and the crew, Sharon, all sitting there. And the VP comes up with this lame thing about we can't do anything. Come to find out we don't have nothing on the president. Um, basically, um, it was Crazy Jason that did all the killings. And they have surveillance. So they have camera. <laughs> so they show the camera. He shows on his phone Jason killing the maid and raping and killing the maid. And then... He says, and also remember the hole that got decapitated. Y'all remember the hole that got a head cut off in the sword? I think that was the first season. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he show, he shows that, but they didn't show us that. I said, ah, Tyler, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't showing that. I wanted, I wanted to see that. Show me that. And then they come up with all this other lame stuff. So I said, okay, well, he didn't do that. Or what about how when... Kyle tried to kill me, said that's what Max said. And he said, oh, no, no. What actually happened was he said some foolishness about Uma. Remember her? She used to get on my nerves. Oh, ma'am, 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 ma'am. That was all her lines. You know, it was easy for her to learn her lines. When Uma was on the show, the lady who played Uma, yes, ma'am, 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 sir, 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 ma'am, ma'am. That's all she said. So anyway, they mentioned here that Uma, get this, y'all. Uma supposed to have been working for the other side trying to kill the president. So actually, Max, I'm sorry, actually, yeah. Actually, Kyle was actually killed her because he was saving the president and all this foolishness. And I was like, really? And then he says, you all are safe. They know what we have on them. Y'all can go back to your regular life. Huh? And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. But hey. Doesn't make any sense. So they're like, yeah, you can go back to your regular life. You know, Sam is not feeling. He's like, something is wrong with this. Um, Muscle Man Bobby and also he Muscle Man Bobby, he don't care. All he want to do is get back to Lily because he's so in love with her. And I'm like, yeah, that, that whole thing was just stupid. And then he also told him that the, you know, that he also said that Grip was sleeping with Alan's girlfriend and that she was apparently was banging everybody in the White House. I was like, this is outrageous. But I knew I was like, something ain't right with this. All of this seems to be made up. And um, that that was just ridiculous. But he told me they all go home. They're all safe. Then we go back. We have Donald with the first lady. And um, she pretty much was trying to, she's more berating of him. And, to, and he said, she told him that everything was under control, whatever, on her end and all of that. And she asked him about his wife. And she said, you know, because y'all ain't getting no action over there. She ain't getting no action because that ain't what you like. And he said, listen, I got her under control. She's, you know, don't worry about that. I got her under control. You make sure you get the president under control. So I'm confused at what, what's going on here. I'm really confused at what the new plan is. So is the vice president and the first lady planning to take down the president and then get together? What's going on? I'm confused. Then um, we see Bob, Bobby saying he's going after Lily, whatever. Then we get to Lily. Poor Lily is getting tortured by Donald again. But this time Donald said, listen. You ain't leaving me. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'm watching you. But then he took the phone. He put the phone up like this. He was like, look at this. That's your mama, your cousin, the dog, your grandmother, your uncle, your aunts, everybody. I kill the whole family if you try to leave me again, ho. He ain't say ho, but I, mean, I like to add that too. Just give it a little spice. I try. I kill everybody. That's basically what he said. I'm killing everybody. So she's like, oh. He gives her the key to her. Take a, go take a bath and unlock yourself. But I'm telling you, if you ever try to leave me, girl, I'm killing your whole family. Your mama. Oh, I think he called her mama a bitch, too. I'll kill her, everybody. And she was just petrified. And I'm like, wow, 
this is interesting because he wants her to stay. But I'm like, why you want her to stay and be your cover? I guess to be your cover up. But that's going to piss off Kyle because Kyle wants you to be with him. So, you know, that was that. Um, then we go back to the VP telling the first lady, oh, yeah, they all fell for it. They took everything. I guess I'm convincing. And I'm like, oh, OK. So still trying to figure out, OK, so what is the plan what is your true plan here, VP? What is truly going on? And Victoria mentioned her father, or someone mentioned her father tonight. It was maybe the first, the president mentioned him. So are we going to see Victoria's father again? Because one of you in last week's, one of y'all asked that question, where was the where was Victoria's father? He was mentioned in tonight's episode. Let, let's see. But um, yeah, this was <laughs> this was interesting. And um the VP is telling the first lady, all the things he want to do to her girl. I can't wait. And the thing that you'll catch when he said, make sure you keep an eye on that bitch. He was talking about Dom. He said, I can't stand him. Put a leash on him and his little lap dog talking about Kyle. She said, oh, I'm handling that or whatever. And as he's talking all this, yeah, girl, I'm going to lick you up and down and do all this to you. First lady, what I want to do is lick it and stick it. And walks his wife. Who are you talking to? And that's where the episode is. So, I mean, I was a little more entertained this episode than last week. What did you guys think? Did you enjoy this? I know some of y'all are saying you can't look away. You're enjoying I think Miss Tasha, you said you can't look away. This shows you enjoying it. Somebody else said, I think it was Ahmed who said that he thinks that the actors are even miserable. They're, the actors, when they see this show, they're, they're embarrassed. They're just there for a paycheck. He's like, they're just saying a the lot. They're like, listen. Let me read this script, whatever, as long as they get their paycheck. Y'all are funny. Your comments are funny. So what did you all think of this episode tonight? Did you enjoy it? Are you enjoying this season so far? Let me know down below. Tell me, all right? So that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.